Kia welcome to Whaingaroa Marae Pui Hakana in Raglan. My name is Richmond Fidiora and I am the Marae Champion. Before we got parakore, what we used to do and with a lot of marae is just use black rubbish bags and we ended up with lots of rubbish bags outside. We had lots of flies in that around and no one wanted to take responsibility of taking the rubbish up to the dump to go and pay for it. So now that with parakore has come into process here, into action, how it actually works now is, and it's so easy and it's just real cool for our ringawera, is that when we're working at the bench and doing dishes and that, and we're emptying our bottles, milk bottles, glasses, um, squashing up our spaghetti cans and that, we just have separate bins. Over here we have our glass bin, our can bin, and our plastic bins. And the ringer winner just put them into whichever bin it uh, associates with. Then from our bins, we just grab our bins when they're ready to be full, uh, ready to be empty, sorry, and it doesn't meet, need to be straight away. Usually it can take like four or five hours. Then we just take it all the way out here, follow me. And then we're just coming all the way out here. And these great people, Parakore, present us with these big wheelie bins. So, we have one bin here for our rubbish bin. These two bins we use for our plastics. This bin over here we use for our cans and aluminiums. And this badge over here we use for our paper and cardboard. So we go from here to here and the cans that come from this bin goes into the bin here which is for cans and we just tip them there. How easy is that? Since Parakore has been in use and we've been using this system we don't have the usage, we don't have those bad smells that we used to get we don't have the flies that hang around or the ringwera are happy, they don't mind sitting at the back of the kitchen now and just lexing out because they're not doing this or this or this and yeah, thanks Parakore, you're the best and now, last but not least, if you're probably wondering what about the kai or the scraps, the food scraps, what happens to those? Well, we're lucky in Raglan, we have landowners that have pigs, and we use the pig system, and all that kind of kai goes into our pig buckets. And so from there, once it's all full and it's ready to go, all we do is get that good thing called the cell phone, and we text up to the whanau who's got the pigs on the land to come and pick up their big pin, their pig bins. But depending on the size of the hui, we could go from one bin to three bins to the most at one time here has been six bins at once. But if you haven't got a pig bin system, there's other ways that Parapuri can teach you how to do that. So if you want to know more, you've got to get a hold of Parapuri.